Hey everybody, just want to jump on here for just a minute and wish you a good Friday. Hope everything's going good today. Uh, got a little rain this week, which was wonderful. Uh, and uh, yesterday, if you noticed, was uh, after the hurricane blew to our east, that was one of the most blue skies I've seen since last fall. So uh, uh, won't be long. We'll be cooling off some, I hope. It's, uh, yesterday was a, a beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, we'll continue to pray for the folks that was in the path of the hurricane. That was pretty devastating in uh, South Texas, South Louisiana, all the way up uh, through the eastern part of Texas and the western part of Louisiana. So let's remember those folks. Uh, remember our linemen. Uh, we've got uh, church members. I know for a fact, you know, that uh, Ramon Stewart, he, uh, he's a lineman or Wood County Electric. I'm not sure that Ramon had to go off in all this stuff, but uh, those guys do such an, a marvelous job of keeping electricity going. I uh, wanted to remember uh, the family of Vaughn Spence. Uh, that's Steve Lawson's friend from over in uh, Emory. Uh, as I said earlier today, I'll post his obituary when it's, uh, when it's up. It, uh, as of last time I looked was yesterday afternoon, and they didn't have it yet. Um, and remember uh, Carrie Pruitt, she's having surgery. I probably already had it by now. I hadn't heard back from her mom, Joyce Bell, uh, to see how it went. I uh, want to continue to pray for uh, uh, a lot of unspoken prayer requests. And uh, got a lot of folks going through a lot of things right now, both in the church and in the community. So uh, remember them. Uh, Look forward to seeing you Sunday morning. Uh, as always, uh, you feel comfortable wearing a mask, wear one. Uh, that's that's wonderful. Uh, we'll social distance best we can. Um, be glad when all this mess is over. I've said that before, but I'm still saying it. Um, and I'm going to give you. I want to give you a few weeks to think on something. Uh, between the deacons and and. Uh, Lacey, uh, Lacey's going to be taking over the, trying to think of the words, she'll still be doing her youth, but she's also taking over the uh, curriculum and being over the Sunday school classes. Uh, we need teachers, folks. We've got teachers. We need backups. We need help. So what I'm going to ask you to do is give it some thought, and in the next few weeks what we're going to do is have a meeting and anyone that wants to or thinks they might be interested in teaching whether it be part-time full-time what we need is we need a we need a teacher and a backup for every class and you know you, the teachers might you might get together and and work out among your let's just say for the uh, the middle class we'll just say for Lacey's class that you you know, Lacey will find someone or someone will be interested uh, that she could use to fill in for her spot. Uh, for the younger classes, you might uh, have someone that wants to, uh, you might have two people that want to just rotate every other Sunday. But what we're going to do, and we're going to stick with this because it's going to make it a lot easier on everybody that wants to teach, we will have curriculum for the uh, children, for the uh, now, Royce's class, they'll continue as they are. Jason's class will continue as they are for right now. But for the younger children uh, and for the high school children, in the youth, uh, Lacey's youth, there will be curriculum. So if you get called at the last minute to that you need to come in and teach, the curriculum will be there for you. You'll just have to go to whatever chapter you're teaching out of. Um, I think this is a wonderful idea. Um, that way, it make it easier on those that are teaching. But I want you to give some thought to that because we do need some help. Uh, no question about it. All right, I'm going to get off here. Um, you know, just remember to pray for all the, the sick. Uh, pray for our country. And uh, hope to see you all Sunday. You all have a good week. Be good to each other. May God bless. See you in a day or two.